So, yeah, sure. so speaking of um, dreaming with our eyes open and you know, racing sports, recently we've all seen the what many have thought impossible, and that was Jeremy Lin, an Asian American, coming to the scene of sports. And in the commentary and much of the popular media at, at the moment, there has been, uh, some would say, a double standard between the treatment of some races and the treatment of Asian Americans in sports. Most recently, an ESPN commentator saying, calling uh, Lin a chink in armor. Yeah. Uh, it does there exist a double standard between There's African a double Americans? standard. For example, blacks have gotten off lighter saying some things about Jeremy Lin that a white person could not have gotten off saying about somebody that's black. So to that extent, there's a double standard, but there's no double standard in terms of stupidity. Uh, <laughs> the, the level of stupidity exhibited by people who look at Jeremy Lin and make those negative comments um, is uh, the same. And from, from my perspective, you know, what, 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 what I was saying earlier to somebody that I, there's a, a, a kid, that there, there's a large uh, Asian American population in my neighborhood. And there's a little kid across the street, every, he got a, he's got a um, um, basketball thing sitting on, his, on the slanted driveway at an angle just about like that. But every day he's out there, he's out there shooting. The day after the Knicks beat the Lakers, I drove up into my cul-de-sac, and there wasn't just this one kid. There were about eight kids out there, including two girls. And uh, so as I drove past to go around the corner and park, I stuck my arm out the window and said, Jeremy Lin, baby, and they just went nuts. You see, for me, that, that, that's what we're about, broadening the basis of democratic participation in American society. And I don't care if Jeremy Lin gets to the playoffs and can't hit his plate with his fork. I don't care if he couldn't run from one end of the court to the other if you gave him all day. We will have this eight games. We will have this episode. It's like Humphrey Bogart told Ingrid Ber Bergman, We'll always have Paris, <laughs> and that's the way I feel about this. I mean, it's it's a it's just a tremendous story. It's a great story. We should embrace it. This is what America is supposed to be about: having that opportunity, broadening the basis of democratic participation. And when I see the impact that he has had on these young Asian kids in my community, three thousand miles away, uh, to me. Uh, I think that it is despicable, shameless, and degenerate for those kinds of comments to be made about this kid and about this situation. I think what he has done is uh, uh, absolutely fabulous, and I hope that it. I hope that he has a, a, a stellar run and a stellar year. But from my point of view, at this point, I, I you know. It, I really don't care. We'll always have Paris. <laughs>